Let's roll. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For today's review we're going to be taking a look at the Robosun Transformers Optimus Prime trailer kit. Now first of all I must say a massive thank you to Robosun for sending this here my way for a review and be sure to check out the links down in the description box below for more info on where to buy this as well as their Optimus Prime. Now Optimus that I reviewed earlier on this year has got to be by far one of the coolest products that I have ever featured over on the channel. It truly was a game changer in terms of Transformers and just technology in general so suffice to say I was really intrigued to see how this trailer kit would stack up when in comparison to that and I definitely have high hopes for it as it's looking to be really cool considering that this too is auto converting so with all that being said let's unbox the trailer kit and actually take a look at what this product has in store for us. <laughs> And so to start things off here we have the main accessories and one of them is basically a character in themselves that being Roller who's directly inspired by the original Transformers series and this thing is super impressive especially in terms of just how much they've been able to pack into this from a design perspective. Now you can pop open the hood to reveal some incredibly nice internal engine details so I thought that was a really sweet touch. The charging port is very nicely concealed via this sliding section so you slide that back and there we have the charger port so I do like like how that was seamlessly integrated and talking of seamless here is the activation button so as you hold this for a few seconds you will get the classic G1 chime just to basically tell you that this guy is activated and the front headlights will illuminate a very nice yellow. Now that's where we can proceed to bring in a few of the other accessories. So here we get included what I believe is supposed to be Spike, pretty nicely detailed as well as articulated. He does have a huge magnet at the back which securely fastens him here to roller when in this mode so you can just attach him in there and now is where we can bring in the app so you'll first of all want to go to your connect settings so just push that button we can then connect roller to the app and now is where you really get full range of actually controlling this guy. So you'll want to go into remote control. And as you guys can see, Optimus as well as the trailer settings will be locked. But the joystick for Roller is unlocked. Now this is where you can move this guy around in pretty much any way that you want. Although I will say it can take quite a few attempts to really get the hang of things. Just as considering it's on a touch screen. It is a little more temperamental and slightly more delicate than personally I was expecting. So you can get him to shoot backwards. He will shoot forwards. You can also get him rotating the 4360 as well as actually moving to the side which I thought was really cool so definitely a very nicely done looking piece let's see if we can get him back into the center of the review station so there is roller a very fast dude as well I'll be able to showcase more of that later on once we combine him with the trailer and talking of combination let's bring in a few other accessories so if you own Optimus Prime you can take his ion blaster and peg this here into the top to kind of create a weaponized mode for roller which I thought was pretty cool or alternatively if you wish to prep this guy for combination with the trailer you'll want to come around here to the back which has been beautifully sculpted hinge this section up take this spring-loaded component which will actually latch into place and snap into there. We can then take this additional black adapter, slide this here over the top, and this basically just creates additional support for the weight of the trailer when you actually get roller towing it. So with all that being said, let's take a look at the trailer itself. <laughs> And here we have the trailer and it is just such a stunning piece. The paint and the sculpting that has gone into this thing is amazing and the attention to detail not only to the original 80s series but also to the MP10 toy I think is fantastic. Now a few things worth mentioning just in terms of a setup is that when you take this out of the box I personally would only recommend gripping it here from the underside considering it will be off all of the servos will be loose so you don't want to pick it up by any of these components as it may cause certain sections to become misplaced and these support struts here at the front are manually operated they are ratchet joints so they will have to be manually compressed into their hollow cavities for when you connect it to either roller or optimus prime and then manually deployed for when you just have the trailer standing on its own like this now originally i wasn't too keen on this mechanism i was hoping that much like these sections it would be on a servo but i do understand as to why it's not when you switch this off the servos do go loose as they're not online so if the same were to apply to this it could potentially cause for the trailer to topple over and in terms of a display that that just wouldn't be great at all. Now in order to actually activate this much like roller there is an on and off switch here on the side that after holding it for a few seconds 
will cause the trailer to admit a really nice snippet of the original 80s track and the rear tail lights also will illuminate a red which is basically just to tell you that the trailer is online and ready to be paired with the app as unlike their version of Optimus this can only be app controlled and not voice controlled so let's link it up with the app so much like roller you'll want to go on to connect you'll then want to connect the trailer to the app and the trailer will state that the Bluetooth mode has been activated as we go into the remote settings as you can see that has unlocked a whole ton of features which I'm just going to demo now I'll just basically let the trailer do the talking for itself How cool are those features? Some of them really took me by surprise, especially when those support things come out of the side to raise the trailer. It's just so awesome. But now I'm just going to very quickly talk you through some of the internal details here of the trailer. And as you guys can see, painted and sculpted so nicely. Very similar to that of the MP10 trailer, especially in terms of where the sculpted in components are. We do actually get kind of that anti-grav drone here, which also has been painted and sculpted so nicely. Although a few things worth mentioning about this is that the radar dish is manually operated as so is the claw on the side and I maybe would have liked to have seen the radar dish actually operate in conjunction with this perhaps it could have spun around maybe there could have been a servo in that I think that would have been pretty cool but as you can see we do get some very nice LEDs along both sides of the trailer which especially when in darker lit lighting conditions really do bring this piece here to life now you can actually store away a few of the accessories in here so here we have roller he can be placed in there which I'll showcase later on how he actually ejects from the trailer in just a second and then we also do get this trailer ramp included. Now, this is probably my biggest issue with the set. This thing costs the same amount as their Robos and Optimus, and I would have loved for this ramp to have actually deployed with some servos, much like how the trailer operates just in general. The fact that this is an additional attachment that you have to manually attach for Roller to actually come out of the trailer, I don't think it's the best, especially for the price point, and it would have been way cooler had this actually shot out of the rear of the trailer, and then, of course, recessed back for when you just had it in its normal mode so that is a shame but in terms of its storage for this mode you want to compress both of the sides and basically just slide it in there like that. Now as we come back here to Spike, you can place him not only in the anti-grav drone and have him firing this when in battle alongside Optimus Prime, but much like the original MP10 toy, there are also a few places that you can store him on the bed of the trailer, such as a few seated areas, which I thought was also a pretty decent throwback, and I guess if you wanted to create a battle diorama within the trailer, this actually wouldn't look too bad at all. So with all of the basics pretty much wrapped up here for the Robosun trailer, now we're going to turn to the money shot. The thing that you guys are all here for, that being the conversion of the trailer into a battle station. Yes, much like their Optimus Prime, this trailer can auto convert, which is just absolutely bonkers. So as Optimus Prime proudly says in the G1 series, transform and roll out. <laughs> And that is just so damn cool. The way the trailer kind of transforms back into a trailer, turns into half a cube and then comes up and then just transforms into this battle station. I think it's just so, so awesome. It really does look fantastic paired alongside their Robos and Optimus Prime as well, which I'll showcase in just a second. But such a cool transformation feature. Let's showcase how it looks when it converts back to trailer mode. So as you guys can see, seamless, super fun, super enjoyable to do. However, I will state that you're going to need a lot of room for this thing to transform. I'd say over my entire time on YouTube, I've never been perplexed as much as I have been by this review as to how I'm actually going to film this sequence. As it definitely did take quite a few attempts in all kind of different places over the house, but I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out so far. So definitely a really cool feature. Let's do it one more time. Let's transform the trailer. 
And here for a very quick size comparison, if Optimus would just stop dabbing for one minute, here we have Prime fully transformed up in his robot mode alongside the trailer. And as you guys can see, for those who thought Optimus was big, just wait until you see the size of this trailer. This thing is enormous. So definitely going to need a lot of room to mess around with this thing. It is massive. Now, pairing Roller and Optimus to the trailer is fairly straightforward with the process between Roller and the trailer definitely being a lot more simplistic as the two ports just seamlessly slide in to the tabs that are on the trailer. However, with Optimus, it's kind of a guessing game as the legs don't really like to stay together all that well and you have to perfectly line up those two pins off the trailer with these tiny little circular sections in Optimus's foot. So it definitely can be a little tedious, but once you have both of them paired up, it definitely creates for a very fun interactive play experience in their alt mode, a mode which perhaps wouldn't get as much love as the robot form. So all that being said, let's actually check out what these two can do once we have the trailer fully attached. And so, some final thoughts for the Robosun Transformers Optimus Prime trailer kit. In all, it's an excellent piece. I was incredibly impressed by their version of Optimus Prime. Dare I say blown away, as that thing is absolutely bonkers in terms of the engineering that was packed into it. So I was definitely looking forward to seeing as to what would be their next release. And the trailer kit makes perfect sense. It truly does complete Optimus. You know, you've got the classic red G1 style of cab, and then you've got that massive metallic silver trailer and roller, which I really do think completes this trailer set. Roller is so such a nice inclusion. The gimmicks and functions that the trailer possesses in all I think are very nicely done. I love the opening doors, I love the way the two halves actually split open to reveal an almost medical bay for Optimus, and I really like how the anti-grav drone can be risen and lowered and even engage in battle. That's all really nicely done. My only issue with it when in trailer mode is that sadly the ramp cannot be automatically deployed like you would expect. I really do wish that they could have found some way to have actually made that eject from the rear of the vehicle and then of course retract, but as it stands it is an additional component that you have to manually install which for the price point and when you take into account that this guy is nowhere near as interactive as their Optimus I do wish maybe they could have done slightly better with but the transformation of the trailer much like the conversion of Optimus is absolutely mind-blowing to see this thing flip and fold and then convert to a battle deck is just so awesome I think Roller's great you can have heaps of fun with that guy just on its own and I like how the trailer can not only be towed by Prime but also by Roller so if you're a fan of the Optimus and you really want the complete G one package then the trailer is something that you do need but with that being said you really do have to bear in mind just how massive this piece is and whether or not you have the space to accommodate it within the collection i want to give a massive thank you to Robeson for sending this here my way for a review and be sure to check out the links down in the description box below where you guys can find out more about the trailer and optimus prime i thank you all so much for watching and until my next review i'll see you then thanks for watching